So this lecture is going to be about chapter one and the early married life of the Morels. So let's get started. As a literary technique, the novel is told from a third person perspective, but the narrator is closest to Mrs. Morel. The narrator is partially omniscient. He can narrate the thoughts of Mrs. Morel, but not of the other characters. Throughout the novel, the perspective of the narrator changes, so the best description of the narrative mode of the novel is probably third person, omniscient. The first chapter begins with a description of the neighborhood of the bottoms, the miners' dwellings in which the Morels live. We get a small amount of description of Mrs. Morel and learn that her husband is a miner. At this point in the story, the Morel family consists of Mr. Morel and Mrs. Morel, excepting her third child, William, age seven, and Annie, age five. The first action of the novel begins three weeks after the Morel have moved into their new home. On the day of the wakes, a kind of fair, the three of them spent some time together at the fair, and William decides to stay after his mother and sister leave. However, we learn later that he does not enjoy himself after his mother has gone. After the children go to bed, Mrs. Morel waits for her husband to return from the bar and reflects on her situation. She cannot afford and does not want her coming child, and she despises her husband because of his drinking. لذلك هذا نوع من التوتر في العلاقة بدأت تتكون بسبب حالة السكر المستمرة والإدمان على الكحول التي كان يعاني منها مستر موريل. Her only solace is in her two children. She wonders if her life will never change and reflects that the events in her life seem to take place without her approval. She finishes her house duties and sits down to sew. And her husband finally comes home. They argue about his drinking habits and about his neglections to his wife and children. This shows how their relationship is not stable and is full of blaming from the wife and the careless of the husband that created a high tension in the relationship. The term flashback means interruptions that writers do to insert past events in order to provide background or context to the current event of narrative. The second part of the chapter fills in the background to the Morel's marriage. It begins by describing Mrs. Morel, previously Gertrude Coppard, her upbringing in a poor family and her friendship with a man named John Field, who gave her a Bible when she was 19, which she still keeps. The flashback shows her encouraging John Field to stand up for himself and go into the ministry, even though his father wants him to continue the family business. She claims that if she were a man, she would do as she liked. He tells her that being a man is not everything, and she has finally learned that lesson. The next part of the flashback describes the meeting between Gertrude Coppard and Walter Morell at a Christmas party when she was 23 and he was 27. It seems the main attraction he holds for her is that he is different from her father. At the party, he asks her to dance. She refuses and he sits down and talks with her instead. The next Christmas, they marry and their early married life seems very happy. When the narrator describes why Gertrude like Morel, we see the importance of Morel's difference from her father. This theme will come up again later when we see that William's fiancé is very different from his mother. In the flashback section of this chapter, we see the first hint of the declining happiness of the Morel's marriage. For three months, she was perfectly happy. For six months, she was very happy. This suggests that Mrs. Morel's level of happiness declines steadily over the course of their marriage. 
After they have been married for seven months, Gertrude finds the unpaid bills for the household furniture in her husband's coat pocket. She confronts him to ask about the bills and he changes the topic without giving a clear answer. So the next day she goes to see his mother. She tells Gertrude that her husband still owes a good deal of money and that the house they live in belongs to her. This information changes the way Gertrude feels towards her husband. She becomes colder and more condescending towards him. She begins to feel isolated from her husband and this causes her to turn towards her child instead. هذا الأمر دفع إلى انتهاء مسألة الثقة بين بينها وبين زوجها. عدم الثقة والكذب الذي مارسه مستر موريل تجاه زوجته أدى إلى انعدام الثقة وبداية لمشكلات كثيرة بينهما. A key incident happens when Mr. Morell cuts William's hair while Mrs. Morell is sleeping. This is one of the major factors in her estrangement بمعنى النفور from her husband as the betrayal she feels when she discovers William's haircut remains with her throughout the coming years. The haircutting incidents also illustrates the way that William is the most important person to Mrs. Morell since she is willing to throw over her husband in favor of her son. يعني كان تفضل ابنها على حتى زوجها. The next important incident at which the narrative appears to have caught up to the present occurs on another wake's holiday when Mr. Morell goes out with his friend Jerry Purdy. Jerry is Mr. Morell's good friend, but Mrs. Morell does not like him. Jerry and Morell walk to Nottingham, which is 10 miles away, and stop at all the pubs along the way after a nap in a field Mr. Morell does not feel so well. When he finally returns home, he has become irritable and has a fight with his wife, each calling the other a liar. He looks her outside in his anger and then falls asleep at the kitchen table. Mrs. Morell wanders in the yard for a while and eventually, after an hour of knocking at the door, succeeds in waking up her husband. This reflects this reflect the entrust and fragile relationship which is not based on mutual trust and real family bonds. This chapter contains many elements of foreshadowing. For example, we are told that Mrs. Morell thinks she lives in a house owned by her husband. The ambiguity provides a clue that her suspicion is incorrect and that the house they live in does not actually belong to Mr. Morell. This chapter's temporal organization is quite not worthy. The flashback in the middle of the present time narration confuses the time reference, past and present, blend since it becomes difficult to tell when the flashback ends or when the present resumes. هذا ممكن يسبب مشكلة للقارئ بأن ما يقدر يميز بين الوقت الحاضر اللي دا يتكلم به الكاتب أو هذا الوقت القديم اللي معروض عن طريق فلاش باك يسوي إرباك للقارئ فهذه واحدة من النقاط السلبية أما الإيجابيات اللي ممكن تكون إيجابية أنه يعطينا اللمحة عن المستقبل يعطينا نظرة مستقبلية عن منح الأحداث التي قد تتخذه القصة Finally, we can extract few critical questions. Question number one, what is the importance of flashbacks and foreshadowing in fiction? Second question is, how mistrust can ruin family relations? Give an example. Question number three, as humans, we usually look for what we do not have or different from what we have. How this idea is articulated in Sons and Lovers.